Jimmy Walker turned pro at the age of 22 and for more than a decade bumped around on and off the PGA Tour without winning anything of note. He seemed to epitomise the journeyman pro until this season. Walker claimed the first PGA Tour victory of his career at the Fries.com Open at the back end of last year and followed that up with two more wins. Jimmy's in the spotlight now, leading the FedEx Cup standings, so Carl went to chat to the laid-back American. It took you 188 tournaments and nearly a decade to get your first win. Did you worry that it might not ever come? You thought about it a little bit, but I believed in myself and, and the things that I was doing. And I knew it was right around the corner. I put a lot of guys in, in the right spots to help me be better. And I think it's paying off. And once you did win, I mean, you shot straight up the top of the FedEx Cup rankings, the top of the Ryder Cup points. And yes, we were early in the season, but is it hard not to get ahead of yourself and, and think what could come from all this? It's easy to get ahead of yourself, but I've, I think I've stayed the course really well. I've really tried to concentrate on the tournaments that I'm playing, not think too far ahead. I mean, I had a lot of cool stuff that was going to happen this year. I, I got to play my first Masters, and you know, after I'd won three times, everybody's talking about Ryder Cup and this and that. And I said, whoa, 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 there's a lot of golf left. It's a lot of really fun stuff to do, and I'm just going to take it, you know, one week at a time, a month at a time, and not think, you know, not wish it away. What was it like to be labeled the hottest player in the world right now? It sounds cool. I mean, it really does. I, I work hard, and it's nice to see things pay off, and I'll let the media and you guys figure out the hottest player in the world. But I feel good. I feel confident and work hard. So uh, it's nice to see the good play. And, of course, off the golf course, we know you for your love of astronomy. You've been tweeting pictures about it. Just tell us why you're interested in that. Is it, is it something that you always have, and is it a nice break from, from golf? It is a nice break from golf. It's something that I haven't always been into. I think as a kid, we've all looked through a telescope and whatnot. Uh, and my interest just got peaked about four years ago of, of looking through a telescope again. And then it evolved into putting a camera on it. And now it's just, it's gotten crazy. And I'm, if I get a hold of something, I usually like to take it to a pretty high level. So it keeps my mind occupied on the road when I'm, uh, especially when I'm by myself and I'm not just it's not in the monotony of TV and watching sports and this and that. I've actually feel like I'm using my brain and I'm learning new things and trying to learn new things. So I think it keeps keeps the keeps the brain going and keeps you learning and, and focused. And uh, I've enjoyed it. So just lastly, we are likely to see you in Glen Eagles later this year. What will you bring to the American Ryder Cup team? I think I will. I, I'm not going to say youth, but youth for the team because I've never done it before and I will be hungry. I've, it's something I've always wanted to play in and I definitely want to come over and, uh, and win and, and uh, do some damage. So that's, I think it's interesting to see how the team will take shape, but I, I really think you might gonna have some new guys this year and I think it, they'll be hungry. So I'm definitely hungry and ready to go play. And who would you like to be partnered with? You always look at, uh, you know, playing with Jordan would be fun. He's a great guy. He's a really good kid. He really is. And I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed playing with him and, and just uh, like, like Zach Johnson. Um, but I always felt like I needed a guy, a partner on an alternate shot that kind of sprays it like I do. So when I get him out in the rough, he knows what to do. So <laughs> Let's wait and see. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you.